tourism is a very spiritual interest. <laughs> I really think so. It's a, like it's new age spirituality, tourism. Look at your clothes. <laughs> tourist, tourist trousers, tourist. No, because you can explore yourself through a new way. Whether it's trekking as a tourist, buying clothes as a tourist, whether it's being a tourist trying to communicate yourself, whether it's getting ripped off. Like, yeah. how am I gonna react when I realize I get really fucking ripped off? How am I gonna react? You know what I mean? You don't know until you do it. Until you, until you go to the temple of tourism, then you don't know who you are in that circumstance. It's helping complexify your being, which is, which is good. In this book I was reading, fucking Shantaram, let's say that, Shantaram, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the Mafia Don, the Afghani Mafia Don, his whole perception of good and bad, a lot of it was like, you know, you have to do good things for the wrong reason, or you, you know, you do the, the wrong thing for the right reasons, um, what is it in the end, but um, he doesn't really qualify it as a matter of perception. He looks at it like, okay, what is good? Good is anything that's helping the universe get more complex. Because that is how the universe works. The universe is constantly getting more complex. You know, whether it started as a stardust and then it slowly gets more and more molecules and at atoms and shit. Reactions and yeah. things changing. And now look at us humans and all this crazy shit. We're getting more and more complex, getting smaller and smaller, bigger and bigger. Um, so anything as far as whatever scale you look at it on, if it's helping the universe get more complex, in some way, shape, or form, it's good. <laughs> if it's not, if it's contributing to stagnance, or even contributing to going backwards, it's bad. Complicity. Yeah, complicity is, could very well be. But that, that, I guess, becomes a matter of perspective because temporary complicity, complicity could contribute to like a bigger leap forward later. I think I had a similar if you're idea. plotting, maybe not. I had a similar kind of interest just now. When I bought this donut, I thought it was just a, a chocolate donut, but there's there's cream in the middle as well. Oh, you didn't see that? Well, no, yeah. not, not initially. I just thought, hey, it's a chocolate donut, and then shit. Yeah. There's cream in it as well. You know, that's taking the complexity of the donut to a new level. Yeah. Right? So that's a good donut. That's a good donut. <laughs> that's a really good donut. But there were sprinkly bits on top. You know, and then flags, I don't know, we could really push it. But. Well, and it also made you a more complex person because now next time you're going to think, is this chocolate donut going to have cream in it? You're going to think yeah. a thought that you wouldn't have thought before. Like, you didn't even think about that donut having cream. It didn't even cross my mind. Yeah. And now I'm wondering about flags and sprinkle bits. And next thing you know, you're going to start a donut shop. So it's hot. <laughs> Would you say the book of your life has opened up to part two, or is it still in part one with the new chapter? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say it's part two, I'd say it's like part kind of, you know, ten maybe. I mean yeah, fair I mean, enough. So let's say that this is, this is the double figure transition. Double figures, yeah, from nine to ten, we're into the double figures. Okay. Yeah. So if you had to create a trilogy in your life, would <laughs> yeah. you say we're on episode four, A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, or a trilogy? Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. Not because it's my favorite, but because the Empire is about to strike back. So are you the Empire in this metaphor? Could be. Or I'll come back to Nepal, but I don't know how soon. Yeah. Now I kind of feel like there are other things I need to see. Unless yeah. I want to come back here, we'll come back here. Tom, have you ever been in love? Yeah. What was it like? Yeah, it was nice actually, it's quite cozy. Do you have a dessert? Do you have a dessert? Dessert? Sweet? Gulio? Chocolate? Chocolate? For the people out there watching at home, Tom, any words of encouragement? <laughs> For anyone out there watching at home that has always <clears throat> wanted to travel but just never found that spark, what would you say to them? You can do it. <laughs> say, it to, say it to them, Tom. Don't say you it can me. do it. <laughs> no, really. I did it and no one thought I could. So, uh, mm. What was your life like before coming here? Do you? 
Gray. Gray? Hazy? Very hazy. Very cloudy, let's say. <laughs> Very cloudy. But really, people didn't think you could, or didn't? Uh, no, I think a few people. A few people got into my effort. People tried to make it very difficult um, for me to get here. Mm. Yeah, which was a shame. I hear that. Mm. Namaste. What's your name? Ev. Ev Subaz. Subaz? Nice to meet you. Jordan. Subaz. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, no, there's sugar. Yeah. All about the sugar. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. I'm so Mhm. Mm Thank you. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. One picture. Hmm? Picture. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Bye. 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 Right. See you again. They threw in all their ideas and inspired me a little bit more to try this and try that. And so I think in terms of painting abroad as well, you kind of are more open to getting outside the box and getting outside your own ideas and you, you have to embrace other people's ideas because essentially they won't take no for an answer, you know. <laughs> Shiva is very much like, you know, you should do this, you should do that. <laughs> so uh, I, get, I think in terms of painting abroad, there's more chance to learn and be inspired by other other elements that you wouldn't otherwise consider. I I would, I would say.